and I will be teaching you Chi Yoga Flow for infertility today. Begin standing in the tree pose, bringing your right leg up. Bringing your arms up, pointing towards the sky, finding a point in front of you to concentrate on so you can get your balance. Fertility has to do with strong energy in the liver, the spleen, and the kidney, according to Chinese medicine. If the liver has too many toxins, either from external toxins, like xenoestrogens and organochlorides, pesticides, fragrances, the hormones will not work right. And if we have too many internal toxins, like from sugar, foods we're allergic to, and stress, our hormones will not be in balance. So always in Chinese medicine, we want to cleanse first before we tonify. This pose helps release toxins in the liver and the gallbladder by stretching those meridians and nerve innervations. You want to breathe in through your nose and out through your nose with the tongue touching the roof of your mouth. Exhaling down. Relaxing your body, having your knees slightly bent. Next we will do the half moon pose, which again is going to help the whole liver and gallbladder. Inhale up. And exhale to your right, pulling on your left hand and arm, really opening up the flow of energy through the gallbladder, meridian, and the lung, which will increase the energy and oxygen in your body. Looking in through the nose and out through the nose, tongue touching the roof of your mouth. Only go as far as your body is natural and comfortable, never straining or stressing in any of the chi yogas. Now exhaling to the left. Like your feet are sinking into the ground, and your head is being pulled by a string towards heaven. Opening up your body for the vital life force to come through you and create vibrant health in your body. Inhaling back up and exhaling down, feeling your body sinking into the earth. Next, we will do the mountain pose or Tadasana. We will just be imagining the energy coming up our back and down our spine in a Qigong visualization meditation called Microcosmic Orbit. Connecting the governing vessel, which is up our spine, and the conception vessel, which is down the front of our belly is the root of all fertility, the conception vessel, and governing vessel. Using your mind, your breath, and your movement for self-healing.
next we will do the knee tuck twist pose sit gently onto the ground this is going to innervate our kidney and bladder meridian and our stomach meridian tuck your knees in find stomach 36 approximately four fingers beneath your kneecap now do gentle rocking back and forth just enough to massage the low back which has to do with the kidneys and all the sex hormones in the body and relax and tilt your legs over to the right stretching and opening your body for increased energy and oxygen inhaling up and over to the left inhaling back up bringing your hands together and doing gentle rocking again only enough to just massage the low back the bladder 23 point governor vessel 3 and 4 and exhale to the left. Inhaling up. And now resting down. Coming back up. We will now do Embrace the Sun Forward Bend. This again helps the water element, which is the kidney adrenals. Inhaling up. As you exhale, bring your arms forward and over your leg. Innervating liver three. This really helps get rid of those toxins we were discussing. Both external toxins and internal toxins. We do not use this point if we are pregnant, but it's very helpful when we're working on detoxifying to become pregnant. Always feel free to bend your knees if you need to, if that's all that your body can do. relaxing, listening to your body, and doing these natural self-care programs. Now we'll switch to the right side. Inhale up and exhale over. Innervating liver three with a gentle circular motion. This will create a sense of calmness throughout your whole body and bring us out of the fight or flight or sympathetic nervous system state to the calm feed and breed state, parasympathetic. Ending in Namaste.